check in. I think I might grab something to eat really quick because I am starving. Let's see. Get a little, this looks good. A little wrap. Another cheers. Another family vacay in the books. Let's turn up. <laughs> Got our all-inclusive bracelets, you guys. VIP. Like yeah. In this area, we have um, live music at seven thirty every evening. After the live music, we have show over here at night ready. Also in this area, we have uh, some stores, like we have the coffee shop, we have mini market, we have um, the pharmacy, the state, uh, the state house, and the school bar. Alright guys, so here we are in the Dominican Republic. I will be here for four nights, five days. If you haven't tuned into my other videos on my channel, I am currently a medical student. I just took one of the most important tests of my life. I took my first licensing exam to become a licensed doctor in the United States and I was studying for like six weeks. It was a crazy time, so I came, <laughs> hey! <laughs> Um, so I came to the Dominican Republic to get away, to yeah. celebrate, to, oh. hi! <laughs> so I came to celebrate, get away, relax, um, because those six weeks were super intense. So, came with my sister and my brother-in-law, um, so we're gonna ha have a good time here. So, I just checked into my room, so I wanted to give you guys a little tour. So, I'm gonna swipe my my bracelet here and let's go you guys this is one of the nicest rooms I have ever been in on vacation and I travel quite a bit but let me show you so as soon as you walk in we have a bathroom here hey gang um so we have just a toilet sink so just like a half bath then we come in we have a little table set up so this is a, a king suite so we have like this little living space, a TV, a kind of like kitchenette, dinette thing, a little bar here. We're going to save that outside area for last because I didn't even know I had that as a part of this room, you guys. We have the king size room in here. So nice big bed, TV on the wall. I am on the ground level, so that's another bonus got the nice tub here super big bathroom we have another toilet in here i don't know what i need all that space for it is just me in here and then a shower a standing shower so two bathroom suite for one person i guess it's good for when there's multiple people if i had a bay here with me but it is just me i don't know what i need two toilets for but hey i am not complaining so now let's go outside you guys because i didn't even know that this was going to be a part of my room so there's two doors we can get in through the kitchen area or we can go in through the bedroom so let's go out through the bedroom and look at this you guys I'm on the ground level, have a little jacuzzi over here. Then I have my own swim up pool access and cabana. What? What? Oh my, I am in heaven. Like this is exactly what I wanted. And when I booked, 
there was no swim up rooms available and I was like damn like I really wanted to like have my own swim up room so that I can just lay out um, without having to go to like the public pool area and I just booked a standard heating room but I don't know if they upgraded me I don't know if you know there was availability I'm not sure but I got exactly what I wanted so <laughs> We love to see it. This little outside area is so clutch. And usually I don't prefer being on the ground level just because of like bugs and lizards and stuff. You know, it's just like everything finds their way inside when you're on the ground level. Um, but I'll take it for this, for that cabana and swim up area. I will take a lizard scrawling in my room or whatever for that. So this is the room you guys amazing 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 um king suite and just a refresher we are at the majestic mirage the crazy part is is that i've stayed at majestic resorts in punta cana before i stayed at uh the majestic colonial and i think there's also a majestic elegance i've never stayed there but they're all like sister resorts all a part of like this majestic umbrella of resorts so i have not ever stayed at this one at the mirage but i'm loving it already great service thus far um and i've heard that this is the the best of the of the umbrella majestic chain so we are in for a good five days hopefully so right now it is about almost 5 p.m and i'm about to change into my bathing suit and some you know overclothes and head to get something to eat i am starving um from the travel day and then we're gonna hit the beach while it's still you know sun is still out um because i am looking to get tan this week you guys i need some color i'm looking pale and and just not good so that's a big goal for this week is to get some color and eat some food and yeah if i didn't mention before it's all inclusive so you know i'm gonna be eating and drinking up a storm um all inclusive is definitely the way to go if you're kind of just more so like looking to chill relax eat and drink on you know on your own accord and stuff like that i definitely prefer airbnb for like group trips and um like big big type of trips like that but for for just like a quick trip that you're just looking to relax and eat and drink at your leisure i love all inclusive so we are in for a dope week you guys let's see what the majestic mirage in punta cana has to offer us coffee shop was over there he said all right guys so my outfit for tonight is a little floral dress bag heels mask something light <laughs> mask mask up look at this beautiful restaurant it's like very like rustic like thank you Nice. We got some lamb, salmon. This food looks amazing. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Sitting on a window sofa. Last round, guys. We got some chocolate cake. We got some cheesecake. We got an apple tart over there. Let's go. Watch the footwork. <laughs> you guys, I'm trying not to get my locks wet. <laughs> They're just so heavy. But it's not really working that well, but this pool is everything, you guys. And the drinks, I just, I can't. I'm in heaven right now, I'm in heaven. 
Okay guys, so today for lunch we are trying the sports bar. And the first thing I immediately notice is that they have the schedule for the sports game. So the NBA playoffs are going on right now. So they have them playing tonight. A plus already, we love that. Definitely sports fans, so that's a plus. This is so nice. <laughs> Got our some games going. Amazing, look at this. Love. All right, y'all, we are on our way golfing. Gotta get some holes. Doesn't matter. We got our clubs packed. Got our balls here. We got our golf. One golf cart here. One golf cart over there with Abe. So this is gonna be the girls' golf cart over here. Let's get it pop. Look at Tay. She got her little squirt. Her little her little Pumas on. <laughs> she thinks she's a golfer, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. We about to golf, you guys. We about to golf Tiger Woods in this bitch. All right, so these are the practice stations. Oh, look at that little club right there. That's me. Um, and we have like, I guess, a practice field out here. Got some men practicing, so let's get my game on. See what I can hit on this on these practice balls before we get out there for the real deal. Woo! Look at her go! Oh my goodness. Oh, just kidding. Whoa! Can't even see it, but it's out there somewhere. Oh, there it goes. It landed right over there, you guys. I haven't golfed in a while. I just want to preface by saying that. Dang. Knocked it out the park. Knocked it out the park. Shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. I'm out here. I just needed to get going, y'all. That's all. That's something. That was good. I wish I could have got it. You want a ride? Do y'all see this girl running on the green? How do I zoom in? Guys, golfing is so much harder than it looks. It's tiring. It's hot. Like, I can't hit a ball to save my life. I just want to swim and eat. I need golfing lessons. This is this is not for beginners. You should not be out here on the course if you are a beginner like me because we don't know what the heck we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. The balls keep going in the sand, <laughs> keep going in the forest. I'm not going in there to retrieve them. So I'm probably just gonna ride this golf cart around, be the support, carry the clubs, you know, provide water and then get ready to head back to the resort when, whenever they've had their fill of golf because I need lessons, y'all. It's fun, I can see how it's a hobby, it's relaxing, but I just don't know what I'm doing and I don't like to do things I don't know what I'm doing, so we'll get there eventually. was quite the adventure it was like four hours we were out there we only did nine or ten holes um, and there were 18 it was a long day it was super hot you can see I'm sweating um, but it was really fun it's a relaxing sport um, I just didn't know what I was doing I'm gonna take some golf lessons to hopefully get better because it would have been very fun if I wasn't frustrated because I wasn't hitting the ball right but good good thing to do good excursion good um, activity to do on vacation it was beautiful views um, the like little swans and shit were flying around but yeah like I said I just wish I knew how to golf better but next time I'm gonna work on my swing oh you guys look at this I come into my room and they do cute stuff like this like <laughs> constant reminder that I'm here without a bay 
you know thank you thank you for the romantic swan i appreciate it they probably think i'm in here on a honeymoon or something like with what man sis with with what man look at how pretty this is at night you guys it's so beautiful So I'm about to eat dinner at this restaurant right here. It's the buffet usually in the daytime, but for dinner it turns into like a seafood restaurant. So let's get into this seafood, y'all. We got some lobster, you guys. Uh, this fish. I don't know what that fish is. We got lamb kebabs. This is pretty good stuff. All right, guys, so we are here at karaoke night. You can see the theater in the background. It is a packed house tonight, and you can hear there's a group up there performing. I write sins, not tragedies. This is like classic middle school, high school days for me. Sorry, guys, I'm old. But come on, if you're going to go up there and do karaoke, know what you are singing. They are doing a disservice to the song right now, so they need to go. They need to go. Mm -mm. Karaoke night was actually pretty good you guys like I don't know sometimes when I go away on vacations at you know all-inclusive resorts the Events that the resort puts on are like eh, like me, you know um, But that one was pretty good pretty good. So now we're just headed to the casino to spin some bread Make some bread hopefully so let's get it popping at the casino So guys we came to the other resort to come to the casino, but they over here doing the Cuban shuffle You know we gotta jump in here Come on y'all Some money. Let's go. This look like a club. Let's see what they got in here. All right, y'all. I lost all my money. <laughs> the casino was not hitting tonight. Not hitting. They were not trying to let me walk away with anything from there tonight. So, so I thought we're gonna try again tomorrow. You know, cause I'm coming up. I'm coming up on this trip. Good morning, friends. So it is the morning of day number three in paradise, and I am headed to the gym. You know, one thing about being on these all-inclusive trips is that I'm gonna eat, you know, and with that, I can start to feel kind of sluggish and like put on a bunch of like vacation pounds. So I'm just gonna get a quick workout in this morning um, just to refresh, start the day and get it popping so let's see what the gym is looking like all right guys that was a good workout you can see i'm sweating a little bit um so now i'm headed to like the theater area where the karaoke night was um because i have to get a covid test in order to get back into the united states the test has to be within like three days of when you arrive back into the state so we are at like the two day out mark so um, we're gonna get our rapid COVID tests here on the resorts grounds um, so that our results are back within that three day window to get back into the states or whatever so you can see that they have it going on right here there's some people already getting tested so I'm gonna do that um, and Lord hopes it comes back negative because I've been wearing my mask and doing everything but you never know um, and if it comes back positive then you are quarantined here in the country that you're in so I cannot get back into the states um, and I'd have to quarantine here until I get a negative test so praise God that it's negative because I would love to stay here but who's paying for that guys we have to get the nasal swabs I've, <laughs> out of all the times I've ever had to get COVID tests I've never had to do the nasal one like at my school and hospital and everything we didn't do the nasal swab so uh, I don't want it I don't want it just take a deep breath I'm trying not to move You, you can pick up your results tomorrow for your book for the test. Yikes. Whew, you guys. This DR sun is something different. Wow. I am roasting out here. I'm like a little peanut on the on the grill. <laughs> but it's nice. I'd rather it be like this than like rainy or bad weather or something. So you just gotta find a way to stay cool, guys. Drink your martinis, your daiquiris, your margaritas, and get in that water. So today, guys, we are having lunch at the buffet, but we are outdoors. So we are having lunch with this view, my friends. 
look at this. So amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Some good eats. All right, guys, so we were feeling adventurous today and we decided to do a banana boat. <laughs> so we were jumping on a banana boat and hopefully they don't flip me off. I got eyelashes that need to stay on. Um, so let's see what it's hitting for. <laughs> It is a French restaurant at the resort. You have to have a reservation for this one, um, unlike many of the other restaurants here at the resort. So let's give it a go. French, I don't know about French. I know they be in like duck and stuff. So we're gonna see how that goes. So let's go. It looks really cute though. Everybody has to like dress up, be pretty classy. So let's see. This is interesting guys, this octopus. What is that? Quail egg avocado. Quail egg, oh Lord. Well, y'all can see what I thought about that. <laughs> cheers, guys. Cheers. What are we cheersing to? Who's, who's on cheers duty this time? Amen. Cheers. Oh. Look at all this food, you guys. This looks amazing. What character in Harry Potter do you think describes Avery best? Oh, come on now, Neil, <laughs> not Neil. <laughs> I'm telling him, I'm finding his real name and I'm telling him. What is his name? Come on, and I'm not giving you no hints, you know this. You know who I'm talking about. Of course. Uh, that Neil. That <laughs> Not Neil. Neville Longbottom. Avery's like, I have no idea. Neville Longbottom. All right, guys, another day in paradise. So I'm eating a really, really quick breakfast because today we are going on an excursion. So starting the morning off really early. Well, not really early. It's like 8 a.m. But uh, we're going to be doing a four-hour trip in which we are going to be riding doom buggies and swimming in a cave and just doing some really fun stuff so we're gonna go ahead and get the day started hi baby hi <laughs> where are they going to where y'all headed where are y'all going they said we out of here. El Ibo. Oh, the people. Yeah. Okay. Right here. The first one. Okay. You guys take the second and the third. Okay. Second and third. You have a two seater and a single, right? Yes. You have a two seater. This one. One behind Carol. About to be out here. Bike life. <laughs> boogie life. Got a boogie on him. Got a crew here. Hey, what's up? All right, guys, this is our first stop. Yep. <laughs> Macau Beach, right? This is Macau Beach. So we're only here for like 15 minutes. So we're just gonna check out the water. Maybe grab a drink. See what's good. I can see the water from here. Can you guys see that water from here? That looks crazy beautiful. This way. 
Okay. Ooh, look at the pineapples. No, down, straight. You see the table over there? Uh-huh. Yes, that looks delicious. I might have to come back for that. Let me check out the water first. Oh my gosh. Look at this beach, y'all. Now this is what you call a beach. Look at this sand. Thank you. Look at this cave. Nice. Goodness. Scared Avery? He like kind of nervous. Do you have to wear a life jacket or no? Mm -mm. This is the. Oh my gosh! Look at how fresh that water is. You could like see in the. This is like Titanic water. Right. That Titanic is down there, y'all. This cave. Oh my goodness! All right, let's go. Go ahead. Oh, ready? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Less acid, but more caffeine. That's why it's healthy for you consume. And the coffee, we put in the sun dry for two weeks. After this, you pass right here, water here like this. And that's to separate the bean of the shell. Do you get it, guys? Yes. We get a bean of chocolate <laughs> brown after the process. We get roasted, salted roasted. And for, for example, with the cocoa, we do the same process. Make it some coffee. Ready? Coffee Just as chocolate. Cheers. Coffee and chocolate? Yeah. Mm, that is delicious. I'm trying both, yeah. Oh, you got the tea. I finished mine, y'all. Good knowing that we can go we home. Have the option to we have the option to leave, you know? We just don't want to be stranded somewhere. Y'all, I had to take my locks out. It was too heavy, too heavy, too hot, and they were starting to get like real dry and itch in my back. But can we just appreciate this hair really quick before I get in the water? Oh my goodness. Let me get a good view of Oh my goodness, hair. Ooh. Baby. This rain is coming down, y'all. Like, what? They said, welcome to the rainy season. This is actually super clutch. I'm so glad that they gave me this room. I haven't used this pool and the outside nearly as much as I wanted to or in theory thought I was going to when I saw that I got this room but um, it's still nice knowing that like I have the capability of using this stuff so 
if I had more time here, I would have used it much more, but I thought I wasn't gonna like it as much because it's the ground floor, but honestly, like, this is, this is amazing. This is amazing, just for stuff like this, like, coming out in the middle of the night and swimming in my, my private oasis, so. Let me not go too far because I don't know what these people doing in their rooms and I don't wanna do a drive-by of a room and they're like in there going crazy, you know? So let me mind my business and stay in my little square here. So I'm just gonna enjoy some pool time out here and then go in, shower, and lay down. We already leave tomorrow, you guys. Like, ah, uh, where did the time go? It's like, time goes so fast when you're on vacation. I really don't understand it. Like, when I'm at home, time drags by. Like, I really don't know why it's like this, but I'm on vacation. It's like, where did four days go? I don't, I don't know, you know, like, why does time move so quickly so i guess it's real time really flies when you're having fun so already time to go tomorrow thankfully we don't leave until like noon so i think we have to be in the lobby at like 11 45 or something so i'm going to try to wake up early like catch a sunrise maybe even we'll see um definitely get some breakfast maybe get some last minute sun you know try to get a little more brown you, uh, you know stimulate these the, the smelling in a little bit more before I go home and then get on this bus and go back to the Los Estados Unidos whack so alright guys that's my night I'll see y'all in the morning good morning guys so it is the last day of my vacation here in the Dominican Republic I'm so sad it's like one of those feelings where you know I could probably stay an extra day or two sometimes by like the fifth day I'm ready to come home but this time it's like oh it's been so nice so relaxing and I don't know why but when you're having fun vacationing like the time just goes by so much quicker so I could have used another day or two but I'm also ready to like get home as well not super ready to get home but I guess I gotta go right so Ordered some room service for breakfast this morning. Just chill, super tired, had one too many drinks last night. So just chilling this morning, packing up my bags. Felt like just staying in the room and relaxing a bit. Um, I might catch a little bit of sun uh, before I leave. We don't leave until like noon. So just going to enjoy my breakfast, listen to some music, chill, um, and enjoy my last morning here before heading home show you guys my breakfast i don't know what exactly this is it kind of looks like a pancake and syrup i'm not sure can't tell you guys we got the authentic mangu fried cheese salami gave me some fresh fruit we got our assorted rolls here and then just the classic american breakfast hash brown eggs bacon you know how that goes down and then we got some coffee and juice so that's my spread, guys. All right, my love. So my vacation has officially come to a close and I am headed to the lobby to check out, jump on my shuttle to the airport and head back to New Jersey. So I'm taking my last final walk through the resort to the lobby. Mm -hmm. Walking right out on the tarmac, you know? We're in coach, but you know, you gotta manifest what you want. You know guys, I don't endorse any one specific airline. However, today I am flying JetBlue. If they wanna go ahead and give me a sponsorship, reach out, you know? Free flights round trip, you heard? So before we officially get in the air and get back home to New Jersey, I would like to give this trip an overall rating. So give a few pros and cons of things I liked. Really enjoyed my room. The resort was beautiful. Food was good. Um, not the best I've ever had, but pretty good. Staff was amazing. 
service was good, but definitely not the best I've ever had either. Um, it seemed like, I don't know if they were understaffed or slow because of the pandemic, I'm not sure, but um, some things just weren't as quick, quickly done as I would have expected. And um, they, they like would forget some things, um, you know, when, when taking our order or room service and stuff like that. So those little things can get kind of like, <laughs> um, but overall, I thought it was a really, really good trip. The excursions were dope. Um, the beach had a lot of seaweed, but I'm not typically a beach swimmer anyway, so I don't mind stuff like that. But overall, I would say my rating, well, hold on, let me ask the crew first. Guys, give, <laughs> give the trip an overall rating, um, one to 10. I saw a seven and a half. Seven and a half? Okay. I personally would give it a nine. Um, so, like I said, I think the pros outweighed like the little cons. I really enjoyed the, the staff. My room was amazing. It was more of like a chill trip for me, so it hit all of the things that I wanted in like a chill, relaxing kind of trip. So, all right, on that note, love you guys. Safe travels. Be well. See you guys next time.